We are so glad you joined us. And Sandy Robertson is our very first guest on Cuisine with Jenny. That's right. Thank, Thank you. you. For well, it's so appropriate, the mayor, right. to be our first guest. And, and you cook, don't you? I do cook a little bit. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And I want to thank you for having me. And sure. I can't wait to share with you a couple of the recipes that my kids love and we love at our house. And so anyway, thank you. Well, you're welcome. And just to kind of let you know a little bit about this, um, we're, Sandra had so many requests from the cooking show that we did in the back of almonds uh, for nine years that we decided this would be wonderful to Rocky Mountain because it's seeing people out of their normal That's right. walks of life. That's right. Um, we're not going to talk politics. That's right. We're going to talk about family and food. And you're going to share these. Or, or I think you said this was one of Jennifer's favorite recipes. You're well, right. it is. Jennifer held back on me. I didn't get the chance to taste this for a year and a half. And it is one of my favorite restaurants, I mean, restaurants and recipes, I should uh -huh. say. In fact, just so you know, uh, we were talking to the kids uh, earlier yesterday. And, they said, well, what are you doing on the show with Gene? I said, well, I told them, so, well, I'm going to do my lamb chops, and I'm going to do that tomato tart. Oh, and yeah. and they said, well, let's do family dinner on Monday instead uh -huh. of on Wednesday when we normally do it. And so, so they can come and eat it. That's right. right. That's exactly right. Now, wait, we've got people in school. Well, no, we got plenty. Like well, you know, here's the thing. We bought a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So <laughs> okay. we're, we're in good shape. Don't you worry about a thing. So we got plenty to share. Looking forward to it. Uh, but this is actually one of my favorite recipes, and I call it uh, Jennifer's family secret recipe and secret. she said oh we like secrets yeah well it just means it came from a family circle magazine 30 years ago <laughs> yeah, and you're not around anymore so see there you go a little bit of an antique to it that, too that's right that's right and we are going to share these recipes with y'all we will make them available because yeah. we want this to be something when as people are watching saying Oh, wow. If Sandy can do that, I can do that. I can promise you, if Sandy can do this, she can do this. This is, <laughs> this is painfully easy. There's nothing I'm doing today that's hard, but it's got big flavor, and it's exciting, and it just goes well with a lot of stuff. And it'll impress people. So there you go. Maybe if you're serving it for company sometime, they won't have seen that you got it from Sandy on TV. There you go. I don't care if you did. Just uh, you know, it's, it's Jennifer's recipe, so we got to give credit where credit is due. So what are we going to call it? Do you have a special name? So it's a tomato tart. What it is, and we can call it Jean's tomato tart if you want to, or oh, Jennifer's, no, or uh, you know, we, Let's how, do Jennifer. Jennifer's tomato tart. Okay. Here we go. That's what we're going to call well, it today. You want to call it the mayor's? No, no. I, I, you know what? I, I don't believe in taking credit for stuff I don't do. Good for you. <laughs> okay. So, Let's get started. It looks like you've already cooked a. So what we crust. did is we get a pie crust. Any, you know, one of those that are uncooked from the mm -hmm. grocery store, any will do, and we went ahead and baked it, you know, mm. because it's important because, you know, as you, you'll see as the thing comes together. So as soon as it comes out of the oven, mm -hmm. we sprinkle about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese on the bottom. Mozzarella, grated mozzarella. Gra grated mozzarella, that's just sort of a, you know, enough to really kind of cover the pan. And the one thing I want to tell everybody is that, you know, recipes are really mere suggestions. It's not... <laughs> You know, it, it's one of those things that it should just taste good, and if you don't like a, a particular ingredient, just mm -hmm. remove it. Try it differently. You know, it's an adventure, and there's no reason to uh, to not do that. And you can already buy this grated. You already buy it grated. That's easy. right. This is painfully simple. Mm -hmm. So we got the um, some tomatoes, and we've kind of diced them up into quarters, or I did. Um, you did. I did. I did it last yesterday, in fact. It was great. And we just lay them around the, the pie crust like this, try to go a little fancy with the pattern. You know, you want to make it look pretty. You know, that does matter. We do eat with our eyes, and so that's really important. And so you're going to make concentric circles? All the way around until it gets to the middle, and we're going to fill it up. And, and so... Uh, this may take a little while, but it is uh, part of the, the process. Two, well, I don't know. I couldn't remember exactly how many would work, and you know, as I was trying to pre-do, but it works out to be about a cup, cup and a half of tomatoes. Uh, we use the um, store bought this time of year because that's really what you have to work with. But you know, in the summertime when the tomatoes are coming off the vine, there's nothing better than a fresh ripened tomato for something like this. And you could probably vary it by doing large tomatoes and slice them. You sure can. Again, food. recipes are just suggestions. Uh -huh. That's not something that, you know, is absolutely etched in stone. So I can tell you what I'm smelling here. We're going to get to some of this. It smells really good. Oh, yeah. But the crust was baked according to whatever it says. That's right. I think it's 15, 20 minutes or whatever it was. We want to get it kind of crisp because we're going to come back and we're going to bake it again. But the ingredients include mayonnaise and some others. And, mm -hmm. and you want that crust to be kind of firm before you go down that road. Yeah, you don't want to... And, and, so you are going to bake it again? We are going to bake it again. Yes, ma'am. This is just the, the beginning of all that. But I find with pie crust, if they're not completely baked and lightly browned, then they can get soft. <laughs> oh, in a hurry. And that's really what we're trying to prevent here. Okay. So that's sort of the magic here. 
See, I would right. offer to, to help you, but I think it's a lot more fun watching. Well, I got it. See, that's right. You know, it's all about watching the struggle of humanity. Here we go. And you've got a ringside seat, so I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying doing it. So the other thing we do is we take about a cup of uh, basil, fresh basil. Chopped. Chopped. We okay. chopped it up with uh, four cloves of garlic. You crush those and I've chop that up in there. The garlic smells really good. Oh, it's just fabulous. You it use like a food chopper? I do that a processor, but you can use a chef's knife too mm -hmm. if you wanted to. I've done it both ways. Just kind of depends on what you what you okay, have to work with. How much is that again? It's so about a cup, cup, cup and a half, and four cloves of, of garlic. And so try to spread it out a little bit here. It's not as easy as it looks. And the great thing about basil or, You're doing a good job. is that it sticks to everything, right? So I mean, I'll be wearing this before it's over with, before we go home today. But so we're just trying to, to get it all over the pie so that it can saturate through that tomato. And it's just fabulous when you, when you, re, when you cook it again. It'll be interesting when you spread the mayonnaise on it. How that, that will help with it, the, so you can see I'm trying to get it kind uh -huh. of in the middle so it'll go out Normally to the edges. Normally I would do, like think this was going to be a quiche and you do the eggs and the eggs would kind of float and move. Right, around, right, right. That's not, we got to do it from the top this down. This fun. Not, that's Why exactly do it this <laughs> the struggle, right? The struggle right. of life. So the other thing we do is we take about half a cup of mayonnaise, uh, about a half a cup of uh, Parmesan, Mm -hmm. about a quarter cup of Parmesan, about a half a cup of mozzarella, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. Oh, and we mix that all up. Do you use any particular type of mayonnaise? You know, I'm not going to get involved in the debate. Um, I, for me, if you're cooking with it, I don't know that you can really tell the okay, difference. Because there are a lot of Duke fans. I know, and I'm trying, not, I'm, I'm trying to avoid that. Look, I've gone from racist to rhino in two years. Uh, <laughs> I, I have learned what to talk about, what, where to pick my fights. Well, and I'll, I'll go ahead and mention, I mean, when I was in bigger cities, like yeah. Wilmington, not that it's that, that much bigger, but Charlotte, whatnot, everybody wanted helmets, but you get in Eastern North Carolina. Oh, it's a Duke's it's Duke. it's, 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 it's Duke. Duke. Yeah. That's what people, and so that's Oop. white pepper? That is white pepper. Okay. And about how much? Uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon on that. But again, people can kind of. That's exactly. That. It, it's what you want. It's uh -huh. what you want, what you like. There's no right or wrong. That's the thing that, you know, people, you get a little bit nervous and you start to mix stuff together. And it's really just, just get it as close as you can. You this know. is pretty much to the way Jennifer got it out of Family Circle magazine. <laughs> as far as I know. This has been the iteration of what it looks like now. So Y'all can take it and run That's it. exactly right. See, my husband would text and pick y'all over. Well, you know, and, and, and that would, I do too, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not really sure the cayenne was going to work on this. It's not going to be the compliment that you would typically want, I think. So, Sandy, this is interesting that you're going to spread that over the top because you have such a beautiful creation. I know. You got a little, a little Christmassy, right? You got a little red, a little green. It's got a great fresh smell to it. Uh, the tomatoes are coming out. But I'm you know. Like farmer's market. I mean, the great tomatoes and the. Oh, know, absolutely. The herbs and stuff going into the, into the summer, spring and summer. Absolutely. And that's one you of the things. A I do not have a garden. I have uh, I've not had a garden probably in 15, 20 years. It's just you don't yeah, have time. I just don't have time to do it. Yeah. And particularly when the tomatoes come off, they're so prolific. My mm -hmm. gosh. <laughs> you have to give them to everybody. And what I've found is that a lot of people are looking for people to give tomatoes to. So uh -huh. please just call me. I, am, I, I love tomatoes, fred, fred, vine ripen. Nothing better than just an old tomato sandwich uh -huh. on some white bread with mayonnaise. You know. You got it. Yeah, I can tell where you grew. Did yeah. you grow up here? I did, I did. My father is from Martin County, a little town called Beargrass, grew up on a farm. My mother is from Rocky Mount. Uh, her folks uh, came up here from the southeastern part of the state to really work with the railroad. And so we've been here now, I guess, three generations, uh, maybe four generations, counting uh, my kids who've all basically moved back. So that's been exciting four for me. Four of them. So that's really yeah. good for Rocky Mount because we want to bring the young people back. Uh, so it's the key to everything, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is. I noticed uh, Benton Moss the other day, I heard Tom and Ashley Moss's um, son has bought Metrolina. That's right. Simmons and Harris. Simmons and Harris. So, and, and a lot of new physicians have come and, back. And Benton's married to a cousin of mine. So, oh, yeah. Right. You know, I love your mom. I don't. I never knew your dad, but I've got to know your mother, and she, boy, you, you hit the lottery. I did a good day when I picked her out of that catalog, didn't you I? Did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, everybody should have a mom as wonderful as Judy Dixon. Well, let me tell you what makes her so special. She's a praying mom, and she is just not going to let me get away with anything. It's a, it's a. I was giving a little talk at Inglewood Baptist Church, and minister was saying to me. You know, if you need a pass from church, you know, I'll be happy to give it to your, your minister. And I said, well, I'm far more afraid of my mother than I am <laughs> <laughs> Luke. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, 
But no, she's just been a fine woman. And thank you for mentioning that. Oh, I, sure. No, I, after my house burned down two years ago, we checked into a hotel with nothing. Right. I mean, I got a toothbrush and, and borrowed some clothes and whatnot. And she showed up and just wrapped her arms around me with tears in her eyes. You know, what, what she, woman. she is that. And... Uh, and yes, she she has a heart for people. She just loves people. Yeah, really, that's just the, the bottom line. And and I, if I were your children, I would move back with a grandmother like that to pray for me and look over yeah, me you, too. You'd be feel, foolish if you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did. You kept it in tow. Did a little there. better than I thought, right? And then you thought at first. I have the finished product, so you get to see kind of how the mayonnaise goes in there mm. and everything underneath. How long and at what temperature does it bake? About 35 minutes, about 375, or until it's kind of golden brown. I mean, everything in here is cooked, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just about getting it to that temperature that you want to serve it at. Okay. So, and um, let it sit maybe a minute or two before you slice yeah, it. Yeah, let it kind of congeal back up, otherwise it's going to be awful runny. Congeal. So, yeah, so, you know, well, we are talking about mayonnaise, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see the finished product, and we're going to take a quick break, and we come back, what are you going to make? I want to come back, we're going to make uh, my signature lamb chops. Now, I call them my my kids call him on, but the truth is they came from a dear friend of ours, Raymond Levy, who's no longer in town. Yeah. He's living out in the mountains now, but he gave me this recipe maybe 30 years ago, and it has become a favorite in our household. Well, you know, in the fact that you're cooking, this is Jennifer's, right. um, her family recipe, and now you're going to do Raymond Levy. That is, folks, that's what a lot about this cooking show is. It's people you know's favorite family recipes, so good, cho good choice, yeah. and we'll be right back. All right. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. We are back, and I've got great news for y'all. We have the website. Um, Robbie was able to get it. W oh, it's Cuisine with Jean. And you can go there and we're going to do a running list of all the recipes from this show on there. So you can go there, you can print them out, you can make them that night, yep. um, which is wonderful. Sandy, you said this is a recipe you got from Raymond Levy. From Raymond Levy, absolutely. Talk about a, a name from the past that, you know, Levy's was an institution. Multi-generational. Sure, you had Rosa Bloom Levy for a while. Oh. Levy uh, is a standalone, uh, I mean, several generations in the rag business. And, um, and just what an institution and what an asset to Rocky yeah. Mount. I hate to see him go, but I certainly understand the compulsion of wanting to be one, with one's grandchildren or close by. And so he's up in the western part of the state, East Tennessee. With Sandy. Sandy's still With Sandy, there. that's right. As far as I know, I haven't talked to him probably in four or five years. But uh, last time I did, checked in, um, they were doing great. One of the original entrepreneurial families. Absolutely. In Rocky Mount on Main Street. I That's mean, right. Bloom Levy. That's right. In fact, my children's great grandmother worked in the women's part of that. Okay. A long time ago. Okay. 
Her name was Nama. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so the lamb is his, right? So the lamb is his. Okay. And I gotta tell you, this is painfully simple. It's painfully simple. That's one of our favorites. Yeah, things. and I was gonna come in and talk about this great spice mix I had, try to keep you in mystery, but I'm just gonna just break it on down for you. Okay, good. The magic behind this is McCormick's California style garlic pepper. Okay. And you can buy it at Harris Teeter. It's not always the easiest to find, but when I find it, I always kind of stock up on it. Uh-huh. So the key to the preparation okay, is... Okay, let's say that one right, more time. So right. it's McCormick California style, style garlic, garlic pepper, pepper with red bell pepper and black pepper. That's correct. Okay, no MSG. I always like this. That's no right. MSG. That's right. So it's healthy. Okay. They're ish. Oh, very healthy. <laughs> right. So it's really this simple. Take the shaker and apply very liberally to the rack of lamb. And I can find these usually at Lidl. Uh, Harris Teeter has them from time to time. Our market doesn't really seem to generate a lot of demand for rack of lamb. So again, it's one of those things that um, as soon as I see it, we try to stock up on it, put it in the freezer, just because this is such a favorite uh, of our families. And you did nothing to the rack of lamb except I've done nothing to it. I have unwrapped it literally moments ago. <laughs> <Okay>. Moments ago, <laughs> Jennifer right. came in, it is so fresh. Uh, it is almost still bang. Hey. Oh, anyway. Cute little lamb chops. Though. Well, they are, wow. and they do a great job with it. So you put that on. Now, here's the other key component. You want to put salt on it, but it's important that you put the coarse salt on it. Okay, kosher salt. That's right, because the thing is that you've put all this pepper mix on it, and there's not a whole lot of surface for the, the salt stick, but that mm -hmm. complement of the salt is really kind of a big deal. And I can really smell the pepper. I mean, that's... It, it, which means we don't have COVID. That's right. That's exactly, right. that's exactly that's right. exactly right. No, it's very pungent. It, um, and it is, uh, it, it's got a big, bold flavor. Mm -hmm. And that becomes important when you start slicing the lamb chops into two because you don't really have a whole lot of that on the edges. Mm -hmm. But it's just enough to give it a wow pop. And you do all this at the last minute. You don't season it ahead and let it... No, and if you do that, I found it doesn't work nearly as well. You almost want it to be a crust on the lamb when you do it. And I've, I've done this for my supper club probably four times and, and every time it comes to our house, this is what they ask for. So I'm telling you folks, just love it. You need to try it. It's painfully easy. In fact, it's so easy that if you don't do it, uh, shame on you. Well, and, and who doesn't like a supper club recipe that's Absolutely. requested for? Requested. Absolutely. So and how I, do you sprinkle this? Do you just I, I just it dump it right on top on. here, just like I did with the, but you can see the big, and a lot of that will fall off. and. Uh -huh. But I like that it's going to make a crust. That's the idea. A little bit of crust. And, uh -huh. you know, hmm. I know it looks like a ton, but you know, a lot, a lot of it's going to stick on there. Uh -huh. And then you always know, put it in the pan. So the other key to this, it's very important. I grill mine. Now you can do this in the oven. We've done it on the oven many times, and that's fine. Set it on about, about 450. Um, and depending on how you like your temperature of your meat. Mm -hmm. I always go with a mid-rare, rare-ish, because um, mm -hmm. what I found is... thermometer? Not really. Okay. I have one that we mm -hmm. use sometimes, but uh, for me, I, I just try to keep the grill going. I like it a little bit on the rare earth side. Mm -hmm. I can't uncook meat, but I can put your lamb chop <laughs> on there if you want a little extra heat to uh -huh. it. So that's what I, how I usually kind of manage through you that. you start it to sear the outside of it? So I get the grill going to 500 degrees, okay. hot as I can get it. And I absolutely put it on there, sear it, and then I turn it down to about 350, 450. I'll cook it on either side, somewhere between 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how the grill is heating, uh, and then on the other side. Now, what you got to be careful of is when you get to that back side, that's where all the fat is. And so it'll have a flame up if you're not careful. But you always go the, the bone side down because what you're trying to do is create the heat in the bone to really be able to help you cook the meat. Now, oh, and the flavor of the bun. Oh, absolutely, is all of that. Adds a great the other thing, the other thing that's really critical, Gene, is in, just for a presentation, mm -hmm. you got to wrap the bones because if you don't, they'll burn up, and you'll you, you, that beautiful display it just will go away, and, and it won't be there. You don't have little booties for them, right? I do not have little booties. I go with just plain old tin foil, <laughs> you know. Uh, but you know, there's a market out there. Of booties myself. Well, uh, somebody can help me find booties, booties that I can reuse. By all means, give me a call. I would love to add that to my repertoire. I mean, in fancy restaurants. Uh, I, I, I know, I know. I don't <laughs> one, but I know that they do. I've seen uh, the magazine. Well, 
Okay, so you do that before you start cooking it. That's it. You wrap it in foil. I wrap it in foil. I try to cover the bone. I did such a great job here, but that's really the magic. And then we go and we take it right out to the grill. Like I said, 500. Hot as I can get the grill, sear the meat, and then I'll turn it back down to about 350, 400. 10, 15 minutes on either side. I just kind of have to judge it because every grill's a little different. Sure. And, and, your oven, and the oven will work right too, it has. And you're gonna give in the direct, in the recipes that we're gonna have on the website, you will give it if they wanna do it inside. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Perfect. And so that's really all there is on the preparation of this. Okay. So then as an easy little add-on to the meal that we're doing here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, who doesn't love asparagus, yeah. right? Fresh asparagus, you know, just kind of bundled up. You know, we, we get some, we cut the ends off, Mm -hmm. And then we wrap it in a little bit of prosciutto. It is important to, to do you break them off or cut them off? I cut them off and I have broken them off. It just depends so on. I usually try and find where the tender point yes. is. Yes. where it breaks and that's kind of the woody part of it. There you go. That you get off. But these are beautiful yeah. asparagus stalks. And yeah, the prosciutto, wow. It's always a. That's pretty easy to find locally too. Oh, it is. You, you can find it? this just about anywhere and you just simply take it and, and just wrap it around. Okay. This is super easy. It is painfully easy. That. But I'll tell you what, again, big flavor without a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. It's something you can do. And you could produce this whole meal in 30 minutes or so. And it, it makes it a maybe a little bit longer than that, but it makes it an easy thing to mm -hmm. do. It's easy to converse. Not much to mess up, Generally, to clean up. You're doing one while you're doing the other. That's exactly right. And, you know, like I said, you know, may have a glass of wine. And, and just the conversation of all that is mm -hmm. just a lot of fun. And the flavor. And the oh, smell absolutely. Smell Absolutely. So you bundle about how many? Do you, you know, know that's, just, that's just whatever feels good to you, a handful. Um, yeah, somewhere between six and ten, just depending on what you're trying to do. And of course, the prosecutor never, never, ever, ever behaves when you're on camera. <laughs> of course not. Well, but, how many bundles do we, each person get? A bundle, or is that kind of the thought? Well, well it just depends. I mean, everybody loves that tomato tart so much that we found that the asparagus doesn't get consumed at the same rate. So mm -hmm. I try to have one and a half per each person. So you know, mm -hmm. somebody might want two, somebody might want one. Somebody a little healthier might go That's, for more asparagus. Absolutely. And so what we do on this is we bake it at three. 75 for mm -hmm. I don't know about 15 20 minutes I absolutely do we salt and pepper it and then we add you know, you know, salt and pepper it. Salt and pepper the asparagus. Okay. I didn't bring it. I'm this sorry. Is before you bake it, you add the olive oil. That's right. Okay. So then we just add a little bit of olive oil on it. Mm -hmm. Do you find extra virgin or just regular olive oil makes a difference? I love extra virgin. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it just makes all the difference in taste to me. Yeah. And uh, some of that that's not is just not as good. Mm -hmm. You know. So anyway, we'll bake it and then we'll get it fried up a little bit and then I'll finish it off by broiling it. And oh, put the cheese on it the last minute? Exactly, that's exactly what we do. So you get it kind of kind of done, then put the cheese on it, broil it, give it a little uh -huh. toasty something to it. And this is a Gruyere cheese. I've grated about a half a cup, but that's just to taste and to, you know, uh -huh. whatever you want. So it's then... Appearance. I mean, a lot of what you eat is with your eyes. Oh, a hundred percent is right. Before That's started. Yeah. So again, two very simple preparations, or well, really three simple preparations. But I'm mm -hmm. telling you, big flavor is something that's fairly easy to do. It's simple to get to. Wonderful. Well, now tell me a little bit more while you're doing that about your sure. kids. I want to talk. Are you going to, so you don't do that? Well, I was going to, I would, that's right. But, ruin it well, we can, well, we can do it for the presentation just for the show you how you do it. But, you know, assuming we've baked this, we'd add a little bit of cheese to it. And again, mm -hmm. it's just to, you know, kind of whatever, whatever feels good to you and whatever you like. But again, that Gruyere has that nutty little flavor that complements the mm -hmm. salty prosciutto and of course the little pepper that we've created on the asparagus. Right, with the asparagus. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about your kids a little bit sure. more because we've got a couple minutes and then we're going right. to come back at the end with Jennifer and the finished products to show you a complete meal. Fantastic. So your daughters are mm -hmm. both here and what are they doing? So Mary Beth is working as an assistant social worker at uh, Carrollton Nursing Center out at Hunter Hill Road mm -hmm. Her uh, and is getting ready to go to graduate school for social work degree mm -hmm. at uh, UNC Charlotte. So I'm excited about that. She'll be starting in the fall. So that's kind of a new, new news item for us. In person, and, she'll go, or can she well, go it's, it's kind of both. I mean, everything's hybrid now, uh -huh. right? It's just, uh, but I think she will um, telecommute more than she will actually be there physically present. Right. 
Uh, PJ is back home. She is selling real estate with Moorefield and is doing and a I great job. I've seen her picture in the paper all the time. Yeah. As qualifying and an award for this, that. Well, so. I think she, I'm very proud of her. I think she's doing a great job and excited to have it. Mm -hmm. Trey is uh, finishing up at Wesleyan. It should be done, I think, uh, this, uh, this semester, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, what's his major? His major is in political science. Good. And his brother Chuck is finishing up at Hampton Sydney and should be done also at the end of the summer. And his major is currently religion and philosophy. And what do you think he'll do with it? Well, he Can has. He do anything. <laughs> well, Chuck in particular has started an app. Uh, it's called Streak. It's a party app to help organize college kids to find parties and connect up. And um, it's been kind of interesting. He's invested his own money in it. He's got a minimum viable product. We've got him a pretty decent little board. And. Uh, so much so that I think that we may find some outside capital. So I'm kind of interested to see how that works out for him and this initial endeavor. Um, but, you know, he's showing some same entrepreneurial uh, mm -hmm. skills and, and interests that most of his family has. And Trey, I think, is uh, at this point, considering coming to work for us, he's got a standing job offer. And so I'm hopeful that uh, he makes that decision. He is toying with going to law school, and we'll just see where his heart takes him. But uh, anyway, I would love to have him back here and love to have him working for our family farm. Of course you would. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and we come back. Jennifer, your lovely bride. That's exactly right. She's going to join us, and we'll show you how it looks when you pull it out of your oven. Stay with us. Sandy, you have allowed us to have the, the brains and the Absolutely. And all this the Jennifer. energy, the energy, the beauty, the everything, really. Definitely the beauty. No, no doubt. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know that. <laughs> okay, so the family circle pie, the lamb chops, this just looks wonderful. And that is kind of medium. That's the way I like it, but that's rare. my preference. Mm -hmm. I'll usually go a little bit rarer than that, but you know, it's rested a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, and they're juicier when they're not overcooked. Absolutely. Yeah, they kind of. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to yeah. taste them. And these just look wonderful you browned them up a little bit why don't we dig in let's do it let's make it happen <laughs> sure okay all right thank you, thank you. So, you know, and i'll work on trying to extract a <laughs> slice of this tomato tart how about that one oh, yeah. okay, i like the way that browned up too yeah and the gruyere cheese was here and that was mozzarella that's mozzarella and, and parmesan. parmesan that's correct okay yeah. so and let's this bring this really on back great. here you want to press your your Guests coming over, or your men's club, or that's right, yeah. that's right, Thank that's you. right. Get you a little asparagus here, maybe. Excuse okay. the fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's oh, probably yeah. more you've eaten. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to. Don't you worry. <laughs> now we normally just eat these on fingers, but I we, mean, you yes. know. <laughs> Well, Lamb certainly for the lamb, it's just it just begs for it, really. Well, I'll be polite and waiting to <laughs> Oh, well. I'll eat together, that would reheat well too. Oh, it reheats beautifully. It really mm -hmm. does. Uh, a little 15 seconds in the microwave, you know, the next day is just mm -hmm. beautiful. Jennifer, I would yeah. say to to prepare this meal though, it doesn't take a long time, does it? It does not. We probably spent a total of 45 minutes uh -huh. on the whole thing, and mainly the pie. <laughs> and to, to bake that ahead of time, of course, it doesn't mm -hmm. do the prep work for the shell. It's not that much. But oh, that, it's right in the container. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. And that's been in your mm -hmm. family since it was in for 30 years. Yeah, it. It's been, I found the recipe in an old family circle magazine, which uh -huh. doesn't even exist, I don't think, mm -hmm. and um, anymore. And that was in the 1990s. Okay. I was... 20 something. Well, and, and what wisdom she has. That's exactly right. right. Foresight. Yeah. Foresight. <laughs> I mean, really. Okay, right. yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Wow. Mm. And I like that it's going to be reheated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the magic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 The lamb mm. is incredible. Hey, mm -hmm. I love the way the mayonnaise kind of. You know, I like mayonnaise with tomatoes too. big time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and more. some white bread and some uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. salt and pepper. I think it'll get you better nap. Mm-hmm. 
Do you ever do mint jelly mm. with lamb? Oh, yes. I haven't done that since we, <laughs> we've been together <laughs> because I realized that he had this recipe. So, yeah. but I used to. Yeah. And I, the, the herb crust is, is such an important mm -hmm. part of that. You mm -hmm. don't need it. Mm. But I know some mm -hmm. people, you know, do That's like right. That's like right. Mint yep. jelly, so. I like mine savory. I don't really like sweet with my meats, but you know, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm different and unusual than a lot of people in that regard. Y'all gotta use mm. your hands. I, mean, I know that's the only way to do it. I mean, you know, asparagus, It's okay. <laughs> that's right. We're the it's still South good manners. Right. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. You bet. Thank you. And thank you. Thank Jeremy. you. This was just wonderful, and we hope you've had as much fun as we have because this is going to be a regular show on WHIG now, and again, Cuisine with Jean, the website for the recipes, and this is just beginning. Thank you for being a part of it. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with a hand-finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like, I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on.